The first protest at the office of the Prime Minister in Sinclair for the year, as the People's Democracy sought to send a clear message to the Prime Minister that they are not pleased he has not responded to a letter submitted last November and has passed the December 31, 2009 deadline to respond. They say they are not interested in more talks with the Prime Minister. President of the Bankers Insurance General Workers Union, Vincent Cabrera, say they were forced to take this action. It's symbolic. You see the amount of security forces are around. You see the, uh, the obvious agitation by the people in the PM's office. So the message will get there. And we have to do more of this. We have to stop sitting in offices and talking. And we have to get on the streets to the people. That is what we have to do. The concerns raised in a letter to the Prime Minister varies from crime to property tax and other issues. But fight on President David Abdullah says history has shown that when a government does not listen to the people, they pay the political price. The Prime Minister and the government needs to listen and heed what the people and citizens of Trinidad and Tobago are saying. That is where the responsibility and the onus lies. So far, only three government ministers and one opposition MP has responded to the letter from the People's Democracy. Mr. Cabrera contends that the People's Democracy will agitate until they make headway. We are going to continue agitating. That is what we're doing. We call, like, like Buzz Butler, educating, agitating and mobilizing. That is all we can do in a, in a peaceful and a legal fashion. We are not breaking the law. For CNC3, I am Otto Carrington.